Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back for another video. I hope you guys have been having a great summer. Today I am going to be filming a summer haul. This video is going to be nice and concise, so I'm only going to be including my favorites um, out of the things I've purchased this summer, so keep it nice and easy. Like the rest of my hauls, this is going to be a mixed haul, so we have some accessories, clothing, jewelry, shoes, all of that. Like I usually do in the beginning of my hauls, I'll list off some brands so you guys have an idea of what you can look out for in the rest of this video. So we've got Vela Eyewear, we've got Etsy, we've got Lily Clasp, we have Amazon Fashion, Same Swim, we have Revolve, we have Mango, we have Aritzia, am I missing anything? Massimo Dutti, we have Bergdorf Goodman, and that's all I'll give away for now. But a lot of these pieces are classic, great capsule wardrobe pieces. Some of them are trendy. All of the pieces are really beautiful in my opinion. If you have similar fashion sense to me, then I think you guys are going to love this haul. And I encourage you guys to check out the links below so you can see all of this stuff in case you're interested in purchasing anything. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to start off with jewelry. The first item are these little Chanel logo earrings. I'll just show you one and put my hand on it so it actually focuses. But as you can see, it's gold and it's not too big. It's just a tiny little stud. I got these earrings off of Etsy and I'll link the shop down below. The second jewelry piece is this necklace from Lily Clasp. So I was looking for a good tennis necklace. I wanted it to be a little bit more fun and modern. Instead of a typical one with square diamonds, I got circular. So I saw this on Revolve and I really loved the style of the necklace. So this is it. It's not focusing super well, but I'll link the name of the necklace down below in case you guys are interested in this one, but I love it. It's, I think it's so cute and it adds a little something special to your outfit. This was my first Lily Class purchase ever, and I'm going to move on to two more pieces that I just got from the brand. So there are these little gold hoops with diamond accents so that has three diamonds here I, well cubic zirconia but you know what i mean and i think it's really really cute very cute statement earring i love any kind of stud or hoop that is a little bit bulkier and funky and adds a cool element to an outfit so i'll try these on right now for you guys so you can kind of see this is what it looks like on i think it's such a cute earring and um, looks really good stacked or even wearing it alone if you don't have other piercings. So that is the first pair of earrings that I got. And then the second one is just this little dangly earring. I'm not sure if I would wear these together. I feel like I should, pr I would probably end up wearing them separately so that it doesn't look too busy, but I did try them on together um, yesterday when I got them, and I do kind of like the look. I It does look a little bit busy, there's a lot going on here, but I love a good ear stack, so I definitely might wear these together. But nonetheless, I love these earrings. I really, really like Lily Clasp jewelry. I'm a new fan. So I think next I want to get a body chain from them. So just specifically one that goes around your stomach. I think that'd be so cute to wear to the beach with a bathing suit or um, with like a long satin skirt and like a kind of like a semi cropped top or even just a regular top. But, but I'll definitely be getting more from this brand. Absolutely love it. And yeah, so that concludes the jewelry. Next, we are going to move on to sunglasses. I found this sunglass brand on Instagram, and I thought that these looked so, so cute on the models. These are really cute, and I don't regret getting them at all, but the only thing is, I don't know if it's the shape of my nose or if this would happen to everyone, but these tend to slip down my face, so they can never just stay against my eyes, which is a little bit annoying. Um, and then also, again, might just be a me problem with the shape of my nose, but um, it just makes it look very, like, upturned, Miss Piggy kind of vibe, a little bit. But I still like them. No complaints. This is a lot going on with the hat, so I'll take it off for a second. But this is what they look like. 
and I feel like they're very, I just feel like they're really cool. They give me a really cool like 70s vibe, especially just wearing my hair loose and messy, a white tank just like this, and then some oversized jeans, I think super cool. I love it. Next, we are going to move on to another accessory. I happen to be wearing it. So it's just this white Porsche cap, and I got it directly off of the Porsche website. Porsche, Porsche, whatever. I like to say Porsche, but I think... I think the correct way to say it is Porsche. I don't know, let me know. I'm a big car person and I love wearing any kind of branded gear from Ferrari or Porsche or anything like that. So I have a couple of caps so far and I wanna keep getting more and growing a collection. And um, yeah, but I think it's super cool. I love baseball caps. I think this adds a nice sporty look to any outfit and it's actually very on trend to wear kind of more a more dressed up look so i'll show you my outfit in a minute but i'm wearing loafers kind of trouser pants and obviously this white tank top and i paired it with this hat and yeah i love it so um you can get these off of the website of whatever car brand you're into so whether it's porsche ferrari etc oh, or you can get it off of amazon they also have some gear there so you can check out either this kind of accessory is super hot this summer um, especially in New York. I've been seeing it a lot on the streets of New York City and absolutely love it. The next item is going to bring us into Amazon fashion. So, if you guys watched my haul from August of 2022, I had just started dabbling in the Bottega world by trying out a Jody, but an Amazon version to see if I liked the bag because initially I just had never liked the style, but it's really grown on me and I really do like it now. I ended up getting another one, and I got it in this beautiful bright blue color. Um, absolutely love it, it's so cute. It has, this one has silver hardware, so just a silver zipper, and inside is red. Um, so the inside does not look like authentic Bottega, but I don't really care, and I think it is super cute, and I got a pair of amazing shoes from Bergdorf's that I'm gonna show you guys later in this haul that pairs perfectly with this and I'm gonna be wearing it later this summer so I'm so excited for that. But yeah, just got another fun little bag from Amazon, another kind of Jody dupe and I just love the bright blue color. I think it's perfect for summer, especially if you're wearing all white. So this is the first Amazon fashion item. I'm gonna move on to the next one now. So the next item from Amazon fashion are these shoes. And I know, we got all the designer dupes in this video. So I had a pair of tan Michael Kors slides. I had a white version and a tan version. I have a puppy that I got recently. Um, so those did not last, unfortunately. So I figured, why not try these out? I saw these linked in someone's Amazon storefront and I mean, they're a great dupe for the Oran. I definitely want to invest in the Oran, but thought that these would be great to start with. They're great so far. Um, like I said, I had a white pair of Michael Kors slides and to replace those, I got ones, I got white ones from Steve Madden that have the similar Oran cutout. And um, I like those. The only thing is that this part is a little bit tight on the foot and I did get some cuts actually on the top of my foot, which never happens to me. So that's not ideal. This one, when I've tried it on and when I've worn it so far, it feels a little bit too loose, almost like my foot is kind of slipping out. Um, not front or back, but because this is kind of pretty high. But um, at least it doesn't give me like blisters or cuts or anything like that. So I would say these are a good purchase. They were pretty cheap. So if you guys are looking for a good Oran dupe or just some nice staple summer sandals, I think these are a great option. So the next two items are also ones that I'm currently wearing. So we're gonna start with these linen pants from Source Unknown. They are one of my favorite brands. They have the coolest stuff. And these are just such easy, light summer pants. They feel super comfortable. I wore them out today and it's a super hot and muggy, humid day. And they did not bother me at all, probably because they are linen pants. So I think these are a great summer option. So they come up to right above the belly button, which is nice. And there's an elastic waistband on the back, so it can stretch a little bit, but also cinch you in if you have a smaller waist and want it to fit a little bit better. So that's amazing, and I will insert a photo or a clip of me trying it on so you guys can see 
the whole pant, the bottom, exactly what it looks like. And the shoes that I have on right now go super perfectly color-wise with these pants. Sam Edelman nude patent leather loafer. I'm so in love with loafers. They're such a classic shoe goes with everything. I do have a Gucci pair of slides, but I like the Sam Edelman ones just as much, if not more. Um, and I have these in the same style with, you know, a closed back in black as well. And they're fantastic. They're such a comfortable shoe and they're so cute. I really recommend this colorway. They're super summery and beautiful. And at first when I got these, I was a little bit afraid that it would kind of look like a grandma shoe and it might still to some of you guys. But if you style it in a very cool way, like maybe don't wear it with a dress, but wear it with like a slightly cropped top and baggy pants and a baseball cap, something a little bit different like that. It's going to look more like a cool girl staple, but with a touch of class as well. So it's all about how you style things. And I still think that these are a really good basic shoe to have in your wardrobe. And they're not that expensive. I, I think these are $100 or under and they have sales. A good amount i think so definitely a great purchase we're going to continue with the shoes and i will show you guys these sandals that i got from jeffrey campbell off of revolve so they are just these tan strappy sandals i love the square toe in the front i love that it's a very low heel so these are very comfortable to wear it's not difficult to walk in them at all and i love how strappy the shoe is They're so cute and so easy to style I bought these with a few other things from Revolve. It's funny because this was the item in my cart that I was least excited about until I got it and it ended up being my favorite thing that I got. So these are just a great pair of sandals. I highly recommend. They're from Jeffrey Campbell. So the last pair of shoes are a huge score and I'm so excited about them. Um, I am on the Bergdorf website every single day, all day long, and not for the reason you think, it's actually because I work there. <laughs> but um, we had a summer sale not too long ago. Actually, I think it's still going on, but um, we kept getting emails about it. And I typically don't, even though I'm on the site 24 seven, I don't really look to buy things because you know, it's very expensive, it's a high price point. But there was a sale going on and I just thought, why not, let me browse. And I ended up finding Gianvito Rossi heels. <sighs> Look at these. These are some of the most perfect shoes I have ever seen. I tried them on and they are the most flattering. Like, if you could imagine Spanx, <laughs> but for your feet, that's what these shoes <laughs> are. <laughs> They're very, very flattering, gorgeous heels. Um, so these were such a big score because Gian Vito Rossi is a very expensive brand and I think originally they were probably around 800 or 900. I think I got them for 200 or a little under that. So these were such a score. Um, again, I love a square toed sandal. So this has that. It's beautiful. Um, super tall, delicate heel, which I love. I love that this one isn't strappy because it's a it's a little bit of a fancier shoe and I like the simplicity of it. So love the ankle strap and then it has the little logo right here. So yes, these were such a win and I am thinking of pairing this and this together for an outfit. So I'm already excited about that. Okay, so for all my fans of the rose trend, you're gonna love this item. So I got the infamous Same Swim white floral one piece. So this is a, I don't know if I'd call it a dupe, but it's very similar to the Magda Boutram floral one piece, a lot more inexpensive, um, still expensive, but not as bad as Magda Boutram. And um, I love this bathing suit so much. I think it's so cute. I've been loving one pieces, generally more modest swimwear um, and or artistic pieces. So Same Swim, it's floral collection in particular, absolutely have loved. Um, I've talked to you guys about Andrea Ayama before and she has really, really, really gorgeous swim pieces. And a lot of them are unique and it's not just like a triangle bikini that you'll see every day or um, from every other brand, which there's nothing wrong with that. I own a bunch of those, but if you're looking for something different, that's a great brand and again it's she makes bathing suits that are a little bit more full coverage i feel like so for anyone that doesn't want to be 
as showy, I think that's a good option. And any really cool one piece, I feel like is a great um, way to still feel comfortable and cool, um, but also a little bit more modest. So I have this one piece. I'm not going to try it on, but it's a halter top has two roses as you can see and some openings so oh actually three roses just kidding um and a few openings um that are the first one is under the chest area and then the second one is uh covers the belly button but then opens up a little bit before um what would look like just the bottom of the swimsuit so i don't know if i explained that well at all but this is all over instagram so you guys can go to the same swim page if you want to see how this looks on but I love this bathing suit. I'm so glad I got it and um, just a huge fan. Next, um, we're gonna get straight into the rest of the clothing. So I'm a huge fan of um, any kind of satin or silky piece of clothing. I have tons of um, satin and some silk tops. And then I also have a few satin slash silk skirts. I have one in gold that's really long and it's from Topshop, absolutely love it. I have a shorter black one from Aritzia. Um, and then I saw this one on Mango's website when they were having a sale and fell in love. So it's just this long green maxi skirt, obviously satin silk material. And I just fell in love with the olive color. It's such a rich, gorgeous color. And even though it's a little bit deeper, I think it's great for summertime, especially if you pair it with a white tank top or t-shirt. Um, and because it's a silk satin material, it's so flowy and comfortable. I've worn this a few times already this summer and I absolutely love it. It's definitely one of those pieces that, that's very easy, breezy, comfortable, but makes you look very put together without that much effort. So um, again, this is from Mango and I got this item on sale. I think they still have a sale going on. So definitely worth checking out their website. Next item is from Massimo Dutti. So it is just this oversized, um, kind of, I would say like oversized, I would say Barbie pink um, linen pullover. I got this primarily for the beach um, as a cover up. So this is just kind of a little preview for you guys of what it looks like. I've worn this over bikinis this summer and it's just a really nice, light, easy cover up. Um, the sleeves are open as you can see and it's pretty long It goes down to Probably a few inches above my knee and has you know kind of openings slits down the side So yeah, that is this item from Massimo Dutti. I definitely recommend checking out this brand if you're looking for Really 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 nice staple pieces. They remind me a little bit of Loro Piana um, style wise but at a more affordable price point. So if you like that style, definitely worth checking this brand out. The next items I have to show you are some beautiful summer dresses. This one you have to look up on Revolve right now. It's just so good. It's from Amanda Upperchurn. It's just this little fit and flare strapless dress. Um, obviously like a seafoam green color and the I don't know if I'd call it the piping or the top border is in white. I got it in a small and it's a little bit big, which I didn't expect. Um, but just to keep that in mind, it does run slightly on the large side. It's a great country club, polo, beach dress. It's versatile. Um, it's very classic and preppy, but can also be a little bit beachy, which I love. So I absolutely love this dress. Definitely one of my favorite purchases. The next dress is from Dish, D-I-S-S-H, um, which is an Australian label, and they have amazing basics, a lot of great linen, just super, if you love like a very, you love a lot of whites, tans, kind of a beachy vibe, but very elevated, you would love this brand. Um, so this is just a beautiful little tan linen dress um and it's just a halter dress it has a nice um, neckline it's not too low at all it's i would say it's a cross between a crew and like a slight v but yeah i absolutely love this dress i've worn it a few times this summer it's so easy to just throw on it's super classic and beautiful and you can pair it with any color and it will look great so that is that 
The next dress is from Aritzia, um, specifically their brand Wilfred. This is a nice, easy dress. I think it's, it's great for the beach, going out to lunch, casual summer day. Absolutely love it. And I love the sunny yellow color. Um, it's v-neck as you can see and just has some buttons going down um, and it's just ribbed and definitely has a nice stretch it's not too short at all which i love just something to know even though it's not super tight and it definitely has a good stretch and it's a ribbed material as you can see it fits slightly like a body con dress and you can definitely see like underwear lining and things of that nature so if you have shorts um, or shapewear that you can wear to kind of eliminate lines or any sort of see-through situation, I definitely recommend it with this dress, but I think it's still worth it. As long as you wear shorts with it or some kind of shapewear, um, you'll eliminate that issue. And it's just super comfy and breezy and cute. So this is the next item that I got, again, from Aritzia. And the last dress that I will show you guys is from Bloomingdale's. Um, this is from the brand French Connection, and I always find, I used to love Bloomingdale's. It used to be my primary store to shop at when I was younger. Um, I find that they don't have quite as many things as I like anymore, but I can never, I never fail to find something from Aqua French Connection or Sandro and Maj when I'm in a pinch. Um, and need a dress for an event or something in the next few days. It's always easier to go and scour Bloomingdale's um, instead of trying to online shop, which is my primary form of shopping these days. Um, but this is an example of one of those great finds and that came through in a pinch. Um, and it's again from French Connection. Um, and it's just such a cute little dress. It has this nice floral pattern, um, small, thin tank top straps um the top is kind of a the top kind of has a bustier like corset kind of feel as you could see from the cups and the cutoff which is right around here um there is a little bit of stretch in the back which is nice and it's a long dress as you can see for me i'm 5 7 and this goes down to a little bit above my ankles um if i'm wearing like flats or sneakers so just a note on the length of this. So yeah, those are all the dresses. Next, I'm just gonna show you guys three more items that I think are really, really great summer staples. So the first one is this pair of linen pants from Aritzia. I've been dying to get linen pants for so long, I finally decided to get the ones from Aritzia and they're wonderful, perfect. They're not see-through at all. They're not uncomfortable or scratchy. They fit perfectly loose and and breezy but not so big that the lower half of your body just gets lost and looks shapeless which is nice i i have been wearing this to the pool and the beach 24 7 just throwing it on if i'm gonna walk around or go to the bathroom whatever um just wearing it to the beat if i don't feel like wearing a full bathing suit and it's also really cute with just a white tank top um to wear out to dinner or um just around for the day i've done all three and I absolutely love these. I think you definitely need a good pair of linen pants in your life, especially for summer. And I can't, I'm so annoyed. I can't find the other pair that I got because I got a another pair from Aritzia, a blue and white striped pair. Um, but I think they're both great. This is obviously going to go with more, but the blue and white one is super fun, especially if you wear it with a white top or something, just kind of adds a little something. So definitely recommend linen pants in general for the summer, but um, specifically the Aritzia ones. I think they're a great investment, great quality, and you can't go wrong. So that is that, and then I will do my last Aritzia item before moving on to the next thing. So this is just a really nice Aritzia bodysuit. Um, I think they have great bodysuits and it, this fits so nicely. Um, just kind of a crew neck, crew neck, thin strap, tank top bodysuit. Very simple, very versatile, and I have worn it a lot already. So I think this is great. I believe I got it on sale. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, you guys can check Aritzia and see, and again, I'll have it tagged down below. So we will know by the end of this video but 
yeah, I absolutely love this bodysuit. I think Aritzia has great bodysuits, and I've just worn this so many ways this summer, so I can't recommend this one enough. And lastly is a tank top from Revolve. So I don't know about you guys, but I've always loved the brand Cami NYC, but I've never gotten anything from the brand up till now because um, they're a little bit expensive for camis and tank tops, um, and I've always... There's always things that I would have rather spent this amount of money on than a tank from Cami NYC, but I've just wanted one for so long that I finally decided to bite the bullet and get it, and I'm really, really glad I did. I think it was worth it. Um, so this is the top. I'm trying, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, was trying to figure out which was the front and the back. The only downside of this top is it can get very wrinkly and show it pretty easily. Um, maybe even more so because of this uh, deep navy color, but who knows, um, might not have anything to do with the color, I don't know. But regardless, I love the lace on this. I think it's so flattering. This has just like a nice little V. It does not go too low at all, so it probably goes to about here. Still covers a lot, which is very nice. Um, and I just think it's such a cute um, top. And I told you guys, I'm a sucker for anything satin, silk, um, I think it would look this I think this will look so cute with really any pair of pants skirts Etc, but I really want to style this with the linen pants that I got. I think it's such a cute breezy summer outfit um, But I guess the moral of the story is satin and silk tank tops Specifically, I think look great for summer. They look classy and beautiful and similar to the satin slash silk skirt and the linen pants just a very comfortable, easy item to wear for the summer, in my opinion. And if you guys are like me and you've been on the fence about Cami NYC, I would say definitely give it a try. Um, I think I did get this full price, which would be around $110. I may have gotten it on sale. I'm not positive, but just because I've wanted it for so long, it was definitely worth trying for me, and I ended up really loving it. So... Definitely check out the brand if you've been on the fence about it like me. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see how I style these outfits or what they look like on and in motion, definitely follow me on Instagram because I post outfit content very regularly and I've been styling and wearing these and will continue to post outfit of the days with all of the pieces that you saw in this video for the rest of the summer and beyond. And if you guys liked this video, definitely subscribe and like the video and please comment down below um, what your favorite piece was and what you want to see more of on my channel so i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video